Nor does an ugly and stupid loner, who got fired from his job, after experiencing the discrimination that comes with being from a low-class family. Hoping to be more powerful, he explores a hidden dungeon, determined to be the strongest hero in the world. Before this, Nor wakes up excitedly, prepared to begin his new job as a librarian because he has decided to pursue a career instead of going to high school. The moment Noir steps out to the living room, he sees his father bowing in front of him and his mother crying. They inform him that he would not be able to work as a librarian because a higher-class nobleman's son got it instead. Disappointed, Noir tells his father to rise up as he does not respect him. My disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined. But he begins to think about what he would do. At that moment, his younger sister Alice comes in angrily to ask who took her brother's position, but she also feels sorry for him. She hugs him by pressing her melons against his chest. Did you pray today? Telling him to take the Hero Academy's entrance examination. Nor thinks about his sister's suggestion and tells her that a lowlife like himself would not be able to pass. Hearing this, Alice encourages him to go for the exam and promises to take care of him, even if he fails. Later, having accepted to go for the examination, Nora leaves the house. As he walks through the streets, he suddenly hears his name. Looking back, all he sees are two huge cannons coming his way. He realizes these beauties belong to his childhood friend, Emma. Even though Emma was born into a higher noble class, their families have been friends. When Emma catches up with Noor, she tells him how excited she is for them to both start their work as a librarian. However, when Noor breaks the news to her, she becomes angry and disappointed. He sees how her mood changes and tries to cheer her up. Then she tells him of the good news she has on how he would be able to use his skill. Hearing this, Noor recounts how only his skill is the great sage skill, which allows him to know few things about the present and the future, as he has an access to ask the great sage any question. However, Noor is not able to use the power because, after summoning the great sage, he would have a huge headache, which would make him wish for death. But Emma tells him she found a passage which states that any time the great sage of old get a terrible headache from his skill, he would demand kisses from his wives. Hearing this, Nora becomes confused but Emma tells him it must be the way the old sage avoided the headaches caused by his skill. Then she also asks him if he wants to try it and he agrees. Emma suggests they go to a private place to try it and soon they go to a secluded place and on getting there, they kiss. Yep. During this moment, Nora uses his skill to ask the great sage how he can become stronger to pass the entrance exam, and the sage tells him to explore a hidden dungeon not far from him, and he would be able to defeat some monsters to get strong. After using his skill, Nora gets the headache as usual and suddenly kisses Emma. She becomes embarrassed, but he continues to kiss her, with the excuse that his headache is not gone yet. Nora looks for the dungeon and goes there alone, and with the help of the spell given to him by the great sage, he is able to enter the dungeon. Inside, he suddenly hears a voice that continues to direct him to the second floor where he sees a lady tied down with chains with her eyes closed. Nor looks at the lady who has beautiful rice cakes. He becomes scared but realizes that she is the owner of the voice that has been directing him. There, she tells him to touch her forehead which when he does, he is able to look into her past where she introduces herself as Olivia and explains how she got trapped with the chains while trying to conquer the dungeon. She also tells him that the chains are cursed and if anyone tries to remove the chains from her body, she would die. Also, she adds that she has been stuck in the dungeon for 200 years, without thinking she would be able to see someone who would hear and talk to her. She asks about what he is doing in the dungeon, and when he explains why he needs to be stronger, she promises to give him her skill, because she would not be using it anyways. Then she tells him to place his forehead on hers so as to pass him her skills, which he did, leading his mind to be at peace. Olivia tells him to address her as his master and explains that he now has a creative skill, a bestow skill and an editor skill, which he can use to create, take or remove anything he wishes to, whether on himself or on another person. Oh my god! Wow! Olivia also adds that he would need to have life points in order to use his skills and how he would get those life points is by eating good food or becoming rich or doing something to satisfy himself on the opposite gender. Hearing this, Nora tells Olivia that she is asking him to do ridiculous things, but she announces to him that he would be a dead meat once his life points reach zero. Nora goes back home after testing out his creative skills, which makes him reduce his life points, but on getting home, he gets pampered by Alice, and this helps him gain more life points 
due to the satisfaction he got. The following afternoon, Nora waits for Emma as he decides to ask her for help so as to get his life points but when she shows up, he becomes surprised as she emerges in a beautiful cloth which reveals her cleavage. Nora tells her his honest opinion about her dress and she tells him of how she is aware of everyone looking at her giant cannons. He asks for a hug and when she gives him a hug, he is able to feel her assets on his chest. After getting more life points, Nora proceeds to create a discerning eye skill and while he tests it on Emma, she tells him how stiff her back is from carrying the load on her chest. Then Nora decides to use his skills to reduce her melons. Having realized that her chest is flat, Emma becomes angry and Nora immediately regrets his actions as he immediately returns it back to its normal size. The next day, Nora goes to the Hero Academy, but on getting there, he sees Emma who tells him that she has quit her job to be with him because they are friends. There they are told to form a team, but a lot of people do not want to associate themselves with Noor. But a lady named Lenore comes to meet Noor and Emma to become a team. The instruction given to them is to find rare materials which must be submitted to calculate their points. But when they are told to begin, Noor tells Emma he would look for the materials on his own. Later that day, Nor goes to the dungeon and decides to fight some monsters, but he is faced with a deadly reaper, which he is able to defeat with his skills. Leaving the dungeon, he goes to meet Olivia with the skull of the reaper, but she tells him it may not be of any help to him. When the results are being announced, Nor and his team members begin to worry as their name was not mentioned in the third and second place, but to their surprise, their names are mentioned as the first place, because they brought the rarest materials. Nor goes to ask Olivia why she told him the skull wouldn't count, and she tells him the skull means nothing compared to the demons she had defeated. However, Nora takes the good news home and his family becomes excited until they all learn that there is an entry fee of 300,000 rels. Hearing the good news, Alice jumps on Nor as she tells him that she wants to get some of his luck, but Nor tells his family about the fee and they are to pay it within a week. Nora's father begins to cry as he tells Nor that he would not be able to provide the money, but Nor assures them that he would get the money. Nor goes to the dungeon to tell Olivia about the money, and she suggests that he fights more monsters and sell the rare materials, but Nor dismisses the idea as he tells her he does not want to attract more attention to himself after the entrance examination. He also tells her how he told Lenore to take credit for killing the Reaper as people would not believe that he was the one who killed it. Hearing this, Olivia advises that he should go work at the Adventurer's Guild button. Getting to the guild, Nor becomes intimidated by a huge man at first, but he is saved by the attendant of the guild named Lola. Nor begins to look at Lola as he admires her privileged white skin and her huge melons but Lola asks him if it is his first time at the guild. Lola begins to explain how the Adventurer's Guild works and also tells him that he has to register by putting down his skills in a form, but Nor is so excited as he wonders why Lola smells so good. Seeing what Nor wrote about his skills, Lola tells him it is impossible for him to be Olivia's successor, as she brings out a discerning tone and tells Nor to place his hand on it so that she would be sure. Nor asks her what she is going to do if he is right, and she tells him she would lift her skirt up and tell him that she loves him. Wait a minute! Nor places his hand on the tone, and it reveals that he has Olivia's skills. At that moment, Lola raises her skirt to tell Nor that she loves him, and as Nor sees her underwear, his life points increase. Lola immediately gets down to business as she asks Nor about the quests he would like to take, and he replies that he needs to get the sum of 300,000 rels within a week. To start with, Lola shows him he would have to catch some rainbow grasshoppers, and as she tells her that he would take the task, she tells him he would be able to do it as he has the right skills to guide him. Also, she adds that she finds capable men attractive, which makes Nor shocked as she doubted him a few minutes before. Nor goes to find the grasshoppers, and before he uses his great sage ability, he wishes that Emma was with him so that he would be able to kiss her to stop his headache. But he improvised by creating headache immunity, and when he asks the sage, the sage tells him where the grasshoppers are. Nor captures the grasshoppers but suddenly hears his name and when he checks, he sees Emma who suddenly tries to hit him. But he dodges it and becomes excited as he has been waiting for her. He also becomes more excited as he sees how her melons are dangling. Did you pray today? Then she accuses him of breaking the promise they made to each other when they were small and he apologizes for not telling her that he wants to become an adventurer and also bribes her with a kiss. Yep. Nor and Emma go back to the guild with the grasshoppers and Lola 
gives Noor a reward of 250,000 rels, that she goes close to him to tell him he is a fine man. On seeing this, Emma becomes angry and tells Noor that she would also become an adventurer too, so that she would be able to follow him on the quest. The two ladies begin to glare at each other, and when they begin to give each other reasons to be closer to Noor, Noor becomes embarrassed as he sees that the other adventurers in the guild are already staring at them. To settle this, he immediately tells the both of them what they wanted to hear as he assured them not to make a side higher than the other. The ladies sit and Lola tells Noor that they should have dinner later but Emma gets angry as she yells at Lola for trying to seduce Noor in her presence. Later that day, Emma and Noor set out to go and capture the huge monster-sized rabbit. On their way, Emma advises Noor to stay away from Lola as she is planning to dissect him. The two friends are suddenly attacked by goblins and as Emma tries to defeat them, the goblins get killed by the huge rabbit monster and Emma tells Noor not to worry as she would make sure she defeats the monster because Lola would be all over him if he does all of the work. Emma uses all of her powers to try to defeat the rabbit but realizes that she is unable to defeat it. Then Noor immediately distracts the rabbit while he takes Emma into hiding. Noor decides to use his powers to upgrade Emma's powers, but realizes that he does not have enough life points to do so. Then he asks Emma if he can nibble on her ear. Emma agrees, and as Noor begins to suck on her ears, she becomes uncomfortable and begins to make happy noises, and the noises attract the attention of the huge rabbit to where they are hiding. Noor hurries up to get enough life points and upgrades Emma's skills, enabling them to defeat the huge rabbit. Back at the guild, Noor reports that Emma took down the huge rabbit on her own, while Emma thanks Lola for giving her the opportunity to embark on the quest with Noor. That Noor announces that he has used his skills to teleport the dead rabbit, so that they would be able to eat it. The meat is however shared with the other adventurers as they throw a party on behalf of Noor, and when Lola gives him his payment, he is told to give a speech. After the speech, Noor tells himself he needs to thank Olivia for helping him. Fortunately, Noor and Emma are able to pay their enrollment fee and they both enter the academy but while they talk about how their lives would change, the daughter of Duke Albert Maria passes in front of them and Emma immediately tells Noor to bow his head while she passes. Noor asks Emma who she is and after being told that she is the daughter of the Duke, Noor decides to use his discerning eyes to check her skills. He becomes shocked as he tells Emma that Maria has a curse on her and the cure is to kill her on her 16th birthday which is not far. The following day when they are supposed to start schoolwork, Alice tells Nora that she would try her best to enter the Hero Academy also the following year. Having left the house, Nora meets with Emma and on their way to school, Emma suggests they have their greeting, then they both go to a nearby bush and begin to kiss before heading to school. In school, they are all made to wear a badge that would show their rank and as they enter their classroom, the students begin to ignore Nora as they notice that he is a lowlife but pay attention to Emma. Suddenly, Maria enters the classroom with her friend Amain and notices Noor. She goes to greet him and recognizes him as part of the team that won first place in their entrance examination. Soon, they are told to go for their first class and on getting there, the students are surprised at how strong their teacher is. The teacher introduces herself as Elma Stongs and also tells them how she was a mercenary before she became a teacher. Elma tells the class she would be teaching them some defensive moves. She picks Noor to show them an example of what she wants to teach them and tells him to try to attack her with his sword, but Noor becomes reluctant, and she tells him that he would not be able to scratch her. Hearing this, Noor uses his discerning eyes on her and sees that she is at level 332, which makes her very strong. Noor immediately draws his sword, and before he is able to attack Elna, she immediately uses a skill to move away from Noor so as to avoid his attack. She calls the technique the back step that she tells Noor that she would try to attack him, and he should use the same technique she used. Scared, Noor tells her how strong she is, and she tells him how to avoid her, but while he is still thinking about what to do, she immediately attacks him, hitting him hard and making him fall down. Noor begins to cry because he is hurt, which makes Elna heals him and tells him to try it again. Then she tells the class that she would give anybody who is able to avoid her attack a prize they are sure to enjoy. However, Noor stands up and when Elma tries to attack him again, he is able to do the back step. Since he won her, Elma gives him the prize as promised and suddenly sits on his belly while rubbing her rice cakes over his mini sausage. Seeing this, the male students become jealous that Noor is having the time of his life, 
but Nora becomes uncomfortable as he yells in pain. After a while, Elma stands up and Nora realizes he had enjoyed every bit of what Elma did to him, and his life points increased. Then, Emma comes to meet him to ask if he is okay as she is worried if he would start liking Elma's rice cakes instead of her freshly squeezed melons. Later, Elma tells the students they would have to pair up for their next lesson, but when she sees that Nora and Emma try to pair up, she instructs them not to as they are dating but Emma tells her they are not dating yet. Wait a minute! Elma also tells Maria and Amain not to pair up, which makes Maria go to meet Nora to be partners and Emma who is paired with Amain becomes scared as she notices that Maria is getting close to Nora. Elma tells them to throw off each other and Nora tells Maria to throw him off first, but he immediately creates a skill to make her do well and when she throws him off, she suddenly becomes weak and falls down making Nora stick his head in between her melons. Amain sees this and they immediately carry Maria out of the training ground. Then, Nor uses his discerning eyes to check and sees that the curse is the one affecting her, and he begins to wonder if he can use his skills to edit the curse, but he sees that he would need 8,000 life points to do so. Then, he immediately uses the Great Sage skill to ask how he can get enough life points. The Great Sage tells him to line up all the girls and he should start touching their melons one after the other, and if he is able to touch all of them, he would get 2,000 life points. Nor begins to have a huge headache, as he thinks that he would not be able to get the life points that way, but he goes to meet Emma, and tells her that they should do their greeting, but when she tries to tell him how embarrassing it would be for them, Nor immediately kisses her. At that moment, Elna meets them, and asks them if they know that they are in school. Yep. She immediately begins to chase Nor, as she tells him to run 15 laps around the school. After school, Nor and Emma go to the Adventurer's Guild but on getting there, Lola immediately runs away the moment she sees Nor and the second attendant, tells them that she went to fix her makeup because she was not expecting to see Nor. Nor talks to Lola about the curse and how he is planning to help Maria. She then tells him that she has a friend who is a cleric named Luna, but tells him that she does not know why Luna is hiding. There, Nor tells himself that he would use his skills to get rid of Luna's issues so that she would be able to heal Maria. Nor immediately stands up and he begs Lola to introduce him to the cleric, so that they would be able to save Maria before the following week, because that is the day she is supposed to die according to the curse. In the next video, we'll see how Nor gained some new and impressive powers. Also, he meets Lola and Luna, who end up changing his life yet providing him with more huge melons to feed on.